I gotta find peace of mind. Okay, here's a new MacBook. Sign up release form. This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I know Siage. Look what I just got in the mail. I ordered these from New Marcus because they were on sale. Hello. Who does not love a good sale? The MFK a la Rose Bougie Parfum. You see how it says Bougie Parfum? Huh? Yeah, that. I ordered two of these because they were on sale. Originally, these are $85. I'm not trying to buy And I got them for $64. <laughs> Hello? Now, first of all, packaging is this light pink. I actually need to get this fragrance to put on my ball. What? Why don't I have a tripod here? All right, I got my tripod. Ooh, I curled my hair today. First of all, this is a wig that Infinity washed for me when she was here. Infinity's my niece, and she's my assistant. She washed it when she was here, and it was it had this natural wave to it. And I won't lie, as the years go on, I just want to do less. I don't want to put as much effort into getting ready. I, you know, years ago, I'm talking about seven to ten years ago, I used to sew my own wigs. Do you remember the days of sewing wigs? I mean, if you ever sewed your wig, comment and let me know. I would buy the, the tracks of hair from, I don't even know where, maybe Aliexpress, I'm not sure. And I would get the wig cap and I would sew it on. I would sew the closure, I mean, the whole thing. I would do you part and then I started to know how to do the closure wig. And then I realized, wait a minute, you can just buy this stuff? Like, I'm not going to freaking sit here and sew anything. And honestly, it's just better it's what it, it's gonna last longer when it's sewn on my machine versus sewn on my hand so like, why would i waste my time doing that now so of course in those days there was a lot of effort that went into the getting ready process i need to get some of this stuff out here but when i unpacked i i need to go put it away i say this because she washed a bunch of wigs for me and i never saw them because i didn't feel like it well this one had a natural wave to it and then today i was just tired of my old my same old same old so i parted it deeper put some foundation took what a wax stick and put it down and used an, a curling iron and did the flat thing and what I did differently is I brought the hair in the front down at a V. I normally don't do that. I normally put it up like this, but I actually like the down at a V. I like that. <laughs> it's different. It's a, it's a subtle difference, but a difference nonetheless. And it makes a difference for me because it's not what I'm used to. And then I, so before I used to feel like with hair like this, I needed to straighten it and then curl it. And then one day I didn't feel like doing that. And I just did the body wave while it was in its natural loose wave state and it was fine and i thought mm -mm. so i just took my hair side by side and i started to body wave curl it going this way going backwards with my t3 curling iron and then of course at the top i just went like this so that it didn't have a slight wave and then the body wave that just looks pretty nice to me and that was it girl that was all i did and i think it looks good the waves are a lot looser than it was when I had it originally. And this hair is so old. It's been like over like trimmed and everything. And now the curl the curls look a little crazy, but I don't know. I just had to take it from what it looked like to something. Something decent, you feel me? So I have two of these bougie parfums. Bougie parfumes? What? Oh, and then in the bathroom, I need to buy some more of these wig grips. Where they at? I didn't have my wig grip in the bathroom, so I don't have one on right now, which is making this wig feel slidey. Yeah, it's sliding back. It should not be that far back. It should be like right here. You feel me? But it's sliding. I don't have one right there. So I'm going to look. It just went back. It just slid back. I'm going to order a new one from, from Amazon. But let's open up this Bougie My Parfumé. Oh. <sighs> This is one of the cheaper candles from MFK that I have come across, number one. And this smells so good. This is one of the cheaper candles, and then it was on sale. It just makes the most sense. This smells divine. I want the actual fragrance. It's on my list. It is on my list. Oh, man. Mm. Listen, I love me a good fragrance. I love me a good candle just in my life, but certainly while traveling. What I have in my suitcase now is by MFK as well. Oud Satin Mood. Oh, my God. <sighs> Your room, 
bananas, bananas. Listen, everything around me and about me must smell good at all times. So when I travel, it's only right that I have a candle, a luxury one at that. In my, ooh, some of the oil sweated. Ooh, okay, so the candle is sweating and then it dripped on the side. So it's on my finger. Oh, I need a, I don't have a, I don't have any pajamas here. Oh no, okay, well it, it is hot outside. I had to run out there and get it. Ooh, it smells soft and powdery. I know this is gonna be divine in the house. What confuses me is these scents are so good and by themselves, it can really take over the home. But you know, I stock up on those bath and body candles and they have them in sales. I be getting candles in the mail from different brands and I burn all of them at the same time. Oh, I have a blue candle membership. You feel me? And I buy her candles too whenever I feel like it or I see them on sale. So I've been burning different candles at different times. But I just feel like these are so special that this by itself needs to burn. I don't want to burn this along with others. But with all these rooms and crevices and hallways, I, I can't I can't imagine just burning one candle in a whole crib. You feel me? So it's just so I just keep I just keep wanting to get a refresher. This smells good. So I'm just so torn because it's like, where do I burn this? You know, I've got candle warmers. You know, so is this more of a candle warmer thing? It'll burn slowly. You know, perhaps that's what I should do. Perhaps that's what I should do because when I was at Neiman one time, the lady at Joe Malone was telling me that these candles, although they look smaller, they are. The, the ounces are smaller than the big old Bath and Bodies. You don't burn this as long as Bath and Body. She was like, Bath and Body, you can burn that joint all day and be like, whatever, if you want to. But these are way more luxurious and are stronger. So you should burn it to the rim and then cut it off each time. And that could be an hour or whatever. It is. Once it goes to the rim, once the whole rim is melted, then you cut it off. You don't leave this on the whole entire day because you're just killing the whole thing for no reason. And I'm like, because oh. how many of you be burning your bath and body candles until almost the whole thing is oil? You feel me? It ain't even oil and wax. It's giving the whole entire thing is oil and that thing is still going. That's how you know you burn your candles too freaking long. So I know that this is just not that type of thing. So now I'm, I'm now you know what I am going to put this in a warmer so that this can really last a long time. Cause the candle warmer just I mean it's just simmering. I mean it's just it's so soft. This is really really soft. I don't recall the fragrance itself being this soft, but this is really soft. But yeah, I'm gonna put this in a warmer. Do I do I trim the wax? Look at my fingers. It's hard on. Do I trim the wax? Look at me, what put my finger on a, on, a, on a table like this? Does that even make any sense? Do I trim the wax for a candle warmer? That's a question. You feel me? Because you trim the wax before you burn it. You feel me? But are we trimming the wax before the candle warmer? Because we ain't burning it. You feel me? Like, the wax don't matter. It's just going, you feel me? Are we feeling one another? That's the question. Because... It's just going to be like a melting pot, you know, a melting situation, you know. Oh, okay, let me just trim the wig for my own peace of mind, you know. I got a fine peace of mind. I got a fine peace of mind. Where is my trimmer, wicker trimmer? Wow, I used to have so many of those right now. Like, why? Okay, I'm gonna go find one because I do have it somewhere. And, and the funny. He says, this box, this box smells divine. Divine. Mm, 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 mm. You know, I studied French in high school, but you can't ask me any questions. Envelop, mm, envelopante, envelopante, eesh. Mm, envelopanta, eesh. Is this Italian? E, eesh. E, are, mm, are, Jesus. This is where we are right here, okay? This is where we are. Listen, I have an appreciation for languages. That's a fact. I sing songs in Swahili, in Yoruba, in Tri, in all kinds. So, but that doesn't mean that I won't struggle with the pronunciations of some of it. Okay, let's go. Envelopante. 
see, the accent gets mixed up. Envelopante e arrière. C'est bougie. Yeah, that one I know, bougie. Bougie. Parfumé. Parfumé. A la rose et un oh Jesus. Nah, it's not gonna work. E un e ha. I almost wanted to say un na. It's not, it's not Spanish. E un ode Jesus. A la feminite. No, this is not Spanish. <laughs> not that that's a Spanish word, but that it sounds like the Spanish language. Feminite. Mm -mm. Inspire. Jesus. That almost sounded like a Nigerian. Uh, someone wanted a Nigerian language words. Inspire. Inspire. Para. I almost want to say para. It's not para. Aha. Hey. Para. Para. Hey. Pales. Ah. Pal. Palacia, siage. Mm -hmm. I know siage. I heard of that. You feel me? Where's it at? I've heard of siage. You feel me? Uh -huh. Siage. De, de, de. We gotta use the throat in France, right? De, de rose centifolia. That one I can see. Centifolia de gra, de gra, de, et de marcine, de ma. De Bulgari. Mm -mm. This is just, this is a quite a challenge. Four years, and I think I passed it all with A's, but the teacher, the teacher didn't like me. She had no business passing me. Son parfum, Fla, flora, et musque. Jesus, why does it sound like Spanish? Tra, mm -mm. Traduit <laughs> la fantaisie de un don. Instead of de un don. Let's give me Spanish. Style, it ain't style. It gotta be set style. Style. Wow, libre. Libre. Ooh, what does lib? Is it lib? Ooh, what does lib mean? Eh, le, le, hey, l'elegance. Ah, l'elegance. Hold on, l'elegance. Mira, what's it saying? What does it say? L'elegance. <laughs> le galance. Hey, le, le, le. Lega age, Mira. Le elegance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Le elegance. <laughs> Dune. Mm -hmm. Dune. We're going to finish this. I, wow. <sighs> Trying to speak another language is exhausting. So now I empathize a lot more for people who don't speak English and are trying to speak English. Because you, uh, you, the way you got to go so slow to get it out. Ah, well, why don't you finish? You're tired, like literally tired. Okay, not that I can speak this clearly. I'm not doing a good job. Don feminite, feminite, rad. Hey, it, this is not Spanish. Wait, do they do you roll R's in French? Ra, or is it just ra? Ah, I want to say ra. Hey, ra, ra, radio. Ah! Wait, radius. Ah, this is so ignorant because I want to pronounce every freaking vowel but i i know that that's not how you say this radi we're gonna finish this we're almost done radu wow radi radu gee mm -mm. i did the best that i could i really i really did the best that i could <laughs> if you speak french <laughs> comment below and just say mm -mm. <laughs> comment below it mm -mm. and and well, how do you even spell mm -mm? Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be? Uh uh. I guess you can comment below with uh uh, cause I don't know how you gonna write. Uh uh. You feel me? I did what I good, you know, and it wasn't good. Not me rhyming or whatever. I'm so annoyed that I was just talking for God knows how long and none of it was recording. Wow. Okay. Let's try this all over again and try to be natural. Although I already said all of this, so I just have to remember that I need to make sure that the red box is on. Oh. Whew. Hi. Okay, I just walked Nini to his class and I'm so excited for him. He is such a big man. He don't be liking the, the pet names and things in public, which is understandable. I like for him to have, I'm trying to say this naturally like I just did and it's annoying me. I like for him to have autonomy over himself. That's important. So if he doesn't want me to call him baby and honey in public, then I won't. It's, it was a hard transition for me uh, over a year ago when he started to ask for that but I'm glad that he asked for what he needed and I have no choice but to honor it because he's a man right 
not even not only that man or woman he needs to he needs to be able to have his choices and autonomy over his body <laughs> you know that's not how we were raised that's not how we were raised you know we were raised by force you know how that goes so i just walked into class let's get this centered and i am just so it just so astonished with how grown and mature he is i am about to go get a hot drink because i can and because i want to and oh that's what i was saying so i did this ponytail i did a youtube video of this ponytail and i have been having <clears throat> such a problem with figuring out edge control that's not going to leave my hair white and i wonder if it's interacting with products that are on my hair that is then turning the edge control white and if that's the case what in the world because if you have natural hair you're putting stuff in your hair before you blow dry it and and flat and straighten it i didn't use a flat iron per se i used this brush you'll see in the video it'll be separate and i did my nails this morning too i took off my long ones because i was feeling overwhelmed and i needed to edit and when i feel overwhelmed i need to edit i can't be editing on the pads of my fingers it just pisses me off so i had to take them off i edited four videos last night and reels quick videos and then i put these on this morning oh i woke up at ah wait that's what i was saying to you before i didn't i realized i wasn't recording Yes, I got up at five today, which is later than I wanted to. I wanted to get up at four, but I got up at five. That was great. I did my reading. I, okay, I did my devotional. It's the Joyce Meyer Confident Woman Devotional. And then the book I'm reading is Healing the Soul of a Woman. I need all of that, okay? And I use my iPad to do it, which I love digital. You can highlight. It's just good. And I'm also doing a, a different video of my 4 a.m. morning routine. So that'll, that'll be separate in a different video, right? Okay, I'm remembering what I already said to you, which wasn't recorded. And then I worked out. I did a 30 minute workout with Sydney Cummings and then I finished doing my hair. So my hair I did over a few days because <laughs> like what? The washing and then I, I had a deep condition in it and then I washed it because I was taking on my braids. So it was, it was backwards, but it still works. And then I blow dried it. That took a long time. I forgot how long it takes to blow dry my hair. My hair is long and it's just like what? So I blow dried it and then I let it, I left it alone because I was like, I'm not gonna have time to do the whole ponytail in the video today. So then it wasn't until the next day. Well, it was two days later. So today I did the straightening part of it, which I use this tool and you'll see in the video. And then here we are, I wanna go do my makeup for a video. I wanted to have my makeup today, but I did not have time to do the ponytail, like straighten my hair and do the ponytail in time to come for the first day of school. So I'm gonna go do my makeup like now. But, well, I have a few things I need to do first. I need to go get my hot beverage from Starbucks. Ooh, look at all this chit chat. I haven't even ordered it. I'm irritated. Good Lord Almighty. I need to go to Starbucks. I need to go to what time is it? Oh, okay, I'm not gonna do my. What should I do? Should I go? See, this is the thing. I try to temper my my energy right because i'm like if i have the energy now to film let me go home now and just film and get it done with because if i do all these errands and then when i get back and sit down and it's 10 o'clock then i'm like Ugh, and then i just don't really feel like it perhaps i go and do the filming now and then i leave home a little early before pickup and then do those errands you feel what i'm saying so that it just works out because i gotta go to cvs and get a prescription i need to go to the post office i gotta go to ups and return things yo these i like these sunglasses a lot this is t uh, loose i gotta tighten it i've had these sunglasses for a minute I know you're gonna ask me where they're from. I have no idea, but I'll link a dupe below. Ooh, and I'm using my, this is my second day carrying my, what is this called? <laughs> Gates Bay carry trunk from Andrea Renee. She be, in, she be influencing me. It is sick. I didn't realize they had this in white. I purchased the black so quickly that I later realized, oh my God, it comes in white. The white is stupendous. I'm going to get the white. Hello? Yeah, so I need to figure out an edge control that's not going to do this to me because this is stupid. This is ridiculous. This ponytail is cute. I'm annoyed. I bought 1B when my hair is colored too. I keep on forgetting that my hair is colored too. And I bought three or four of these 1Bs, which is irritating to me. The hair is pretty, very straight, nice. You feel me? You tuck in your hair inside all the things. But um, I need to go look and see. Is this really bad? I just did this today, so... I need to get a close up and see if there, if it does look really terrible and if it does, what am I gonna do? I just spent so much time doing my hair, days. Again, I took breaks, but I mean, I did this over days. Yo, good morning again. Now my glasses are all dusty. There's something about this is 
that these are polarized. These are my Chanel sunglasses. I got a minute ago, right? I am about to go to the gym, honey. I want to be better about just getting right to it in the morning. I, I can sometimes delay stuff and then it makes me not want to do it. And I don't consider it procrastination. I just consider me, it's like I'm just moving slowly at it. Let me give you an example. I just need to move, you know, like drop, okay, wake up, read, <laughs> devotion, get ready, or whatever the case is, leave, drop off a carpool, come to the gym, walk inside, don't sit on the phone and check my email or check my messages or check whatever, just go right to it. Because if I start checking the messages and checking my email, then I go on social, then I go post, then I see something, and next thing you know, I've been sitting on my phone for an hour. So that's what I mean. It's not a procrastination where I don't do anything, but it's more like I, I would get caught up doing something different when I could have been at the gym, and then a whole hour goes by, and I really could have walked on the treadmill for the hour while doing the things that I was doing when I was sitting here. So I have to remind myself to make the most out of my time and keep on moving. So the times where I don't feel like going to the gym, I have to remind myself that if I don't have the energy or the interest to do the weights and all of this jumping and stuff, I can simply come and walk on the treadmill for an hour while reading my book, checking my email, watching a video, watching a show. You feel what I'm saying? So that's just the new mindset that I have started and I have to continue to remind myself that I can still get a workout in even if it's a slow paced one because walking for an hour is something if you just walked for six months you would be you would lose weight you know what I'm saying obviously changing your diet too but you get what I mean okay so I have to remind myself that but of course I want to and need to do more high energy high intensity workouts you feel what I'm saying I got my coffee because I did tea this morning and then I was like, I actually need my coffee. So I got that going here and let's just go inside. I need to use the restroom again. Yo, I be forgetting that this vehicle can start up when you're away from the vehicle and it can turn the AC on for you, but it didn't work for me last yesterday at soccer practice. And it's just like, yo, can you like, can you work? Because I want to use the functions. I don't even know what, what all these functions are. Like I know the car can park itself, but when the man showed me that day at the parking lot at the dealership, I didn't like what it was doing. It was just scary for me. It, it can parallel park for you. I'm not going to risk it. I can do it myself. It can do all kinds of things, but I'm just like, you know what? Let me do it. Cause I don't know what you've got to do out here in the public streets. I can park myself. Like you can pull in front of the two lines or something on the side of it and then the car because it has cameras it will just pack the car back for you i'm not gonna be exercising that mm -mm. i'm not gonna be exercising that you know what i'm saying so here we are i got my stanley i believe in this stuff i believe in this oh it's empty i believe it in the car i need to wash this thing this is so trifling i need to wash it that is such a problem okay i'm gonna fill it up with some water on the inside <laughs> hopefully the water is cold it better be cold so let's go work out and let's see what I can what I can record if the area is clear. You know, I don't want to get people because people didn't. No one signed a release form.
a trauma mm -hmm. over the fact that my dad would make me eat food that I didn't like. Mm -hmm. Trauma over it. Mm -hmm. And so now when I go to a restaurant, I'm the fussiest eater. And the, if there's a way to bring something and it's wrong and there's sauce on it, and I, I, I won't scrape, I'll send it back. Mm -hmm. And it takes a very patient partner to be with me to say, of course, babe, like, what do you need in that moment? Because it actually comes from a childhood trauma. Yeah. Um, but if I have a partner that just mocked me all the time for doing that, if I had a partner that just kept saying, like, oh, my God, you're so fussy. Like, why do you want it like that? You need to stop being so high, you know, have your high standards. I think I would start to feel shame mm -hmm. around this thing that I actually had trauma from as a child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we triggered. This is, you know, important for us to always, you know, like, figure out how to lean in the direction, or at least if we feel invested enough, help a person to then create that container with us. And I think in those moments where you feel really seen, mm -hmm. because yeah. someone knows you and it's like they've thought about you and you've like gone into the car and it's all warm because they've, like yeah. even that is just a great sign of someone that really cares. Yeah. And like, why do you always make me feel this way, right? Like you're always like messing everything up in this relationship and like, and so, when a person is in submission, they're chronically saying, I'm sorry. That's why whenever, especially with women, I always like notice like when when we say I'm sorry a lot, I always wonder, like, you know, who made who made you believe that you are always at fault? So much so that you say sorry almost by default with things that you shouldn't even be saying sorry about. Right. And so we get caught up in this internalized belief that we are like always erring and and, and unworthy. How the hell then do you break that cycle of the submission? If you if you find yourself also gone through each one, so we're up to this point, you know, you've given us the things of if you gaslight, mm -hmm. this is what you do if you've been gaslit. Mm -hmm. Um, but with the submission piece then, what are the things if you've broken down a couple ways, like if you start to question, okay, it's me, let me back off, the pleasing thing. So those are all signs that someone can watch out for that they're now in the submission stage. Yeah. What are the things they can do to pull themselves out of that submission stage? You know, oftentimes people tend to get out of submission because they feel desperate. They can no longer resist the treatment that they're getting, but also the way that they're feeling. The, the way that submission feels to a person is almost like a depressive state. It's almost like immobilizing. You can put a hundred gramp on it. Anything I said, I stamp on it. In a private plane, I lamp on it. Lele, oh, then they call me bank on it. Cause I walk around with the bank on it. Show them Gangnam style, put the gang on it. Twist my fingers up on a bang on them. Lele, oh, lele, oh, yeah. Tobalo, I go march, oh. Tobalo, I go march, oh. Nobody know tomorrow. Choro, cachorro. And if a boy feel macho, make him look red like a tomato. If him not dead, then he call matos. No, go fambo. As the day comes, as I go, God don't watch over me, oh Lord. I cannot trust my. that I got women's from the premium outlets. And then my Kate's Bay bag is just so cute and cash. I need to tuck this in more because it looks too big. Like I need it to be more cropped, you feel what I'm saying? So that it's giving body. All right, I'm heading out. Let's go.
Well, as you see, I just had I had to get a new laptop and <laughs> I tried to <laughs> dramatically bring it into the frame and this happened. Who does that? All of us. Okay, here's a new MacBook. This is the, what is this, the 14, I believe it is. I ended up getting a MacBook Pro, which I've never had. I've always used the MacBook Air, but I needed the Pro because it, it's just going to be faster. Dang, this thing feels heavy. Ooh, it's a lot heavier than what I'm used to. It's a 14 inch and my computer is 13.5, so not that tremendously different. What I could not believe is that they've gone back to this charger from the real ancient MacBooks. Like, why are we back to this now? Okay, so there's that. But the nice thing is, since I have, because I have a bunch of these USB-C chargers, the nice thing is that there are two spaces for the USB-C and then they, oh, excuse me, USB-C and then of course they have that thing. I just noticed this, this is phenomenal. So no need to use an SD card adapter. That is huge. And then you have another spot for a USB. That's huge. This is actually really, really good. What? Okay. Very, very good. And I got this gray color. I don't know. I'll get a case for it. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> it just feels so fancy. Soften up the mess. Drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, revealing another pretty little... I'm meeting right now with my management team. It's at 9 a.m. And I have so much to do. I love my ponytail. I'd be looking back like, what is that? And it's like, oh, that's my hair. It looks like sad, you know. What is it? We used to use it in Adwa. Yes, Adwa when we were younger. <laughs> the chief would hold it. It's literally like a hair, like a feather thing. If you're a Ghanaian, you know exactly what I'm referring to. When you hold it, and then it'd be like, whatever. Okay, that's what it reminds me of. I'm about to log on right now. Let me log on right now. I got one minute. I wear these AirPod Pros so much that it feels like it's falling off my freaking ear, straight up. But I don't want to do headphones because if my hair is done, I don't want that on my head. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need that. And then if my makeup is done, the headphones go on the face. Like, duh. Who does that? I don't know how y'all be doing it. It looks so cute, but it just would annoy me. So having the ear phone makes life easier. Let's log in. I love my new laptop, praise be. This thing moves quickly. It moves. It, this was this was a this was a an amazing investment. Expensive, but very needed. Oh um, wait, my mic is off. I know. I got a new computer, so I need to figure out how to access what? How to give this camera access. Okay. Here we go with 1080p. Oh my God. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. You understand me. Walk her down the valley. Pack a piece of heaven for the bottom. Yo, so I'm about to. Hey, God. I'm about to go get Nini from school. Come check the pace and not the race. Don't be silly. <laughs> If you know the reference, you know the reference. Please allow me, allow me to do, introduce myself. Allow me to enjoy myself. Hey, allow me to enjoy myself. Allow me to enjoy. Hey, allow me to enjoy myself. Ah, allow me to enjoy myself. Allow me to enjoy. Hey, hey, I love Prime and it's very keto friendly. You feel me? So it has what five grams of carbs. You know, it's got the sugar substitutes in situations like that, which I love. Okay. And this is the lemonade one. It's delicious. We get all the different flavors. This is just stupendous. I love it. I live for it. I just guzzled that down. I'm full. My stomach is just mm, compacted. See what it is a staffed. Like I, I feel like a amazing exclamation point. Thank you so much. Period. So I just feel like a stuffed turkey and not really the vibe that I was going for today. <laughs> I'm never going for that vibe. <laughs> I am loving my Kate Spade, you feel me? Listen, do you know how to close your candles? All you gotta do is just cover it, okay? No oxygen, no life. The candle is done. Don't be blowing it out, because all that smoke gonna be on your ceiling, you feel me? It's covering, you good to go, okay? Boom, 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 the house is not gonna burn down. I love these, I almost said, I almost said Nikes, then I almost said Amazon. Oh my God, I have such a headache, I need to sleep. I love these Adidas sneakers, okay? They're so light, I mean, it's like nothing. 
they're great all right and i'm gonna touch up my fragrance which means i'm not putting on the same one i'm putting on a different one <laughs> i just put on whatever whatever my heart desires let me fall down what if my heart desires yo is this screen dirty ew hold on you have not seen my fragrance situation in a minute i don't be knowing what to grab like i live i live for what's this one soleil cristal yep i live for that like just so many oh i love oud nude so many compliments i have not you know what i have not worn this one and I don't wear my fragrances based on what I'm wearing. Like, I don't, like let's say how right now I'm casual. I'm not going to say, oh, let me not do something. Let me not do something that's real strong so I'm looking casual. I don't care. I'm going to wear whatever I'm going to wear. You feel what I'm saying? So let's try this out because I have not worn this. And then a blush situation. Uh-huh. That. And then the sprayer is <laughs> right here. Isn't that cute? Oh, yeah. It's fruit. This reminds me a little bit of an angel. Angel Mugler. This feels like it has the same, some of the same notes as one of the angel flankers. Are they called flankers? Yeah, this is reminiscent of something. Spray the hair, honey. I, I gotta wash it anyway. Spray your hair. Ooh, I have a hair fragrance I want to show you. It's by Byredo. By Byredo. It's so good. Mmm. This is cute. This is, I can see this for a young girl, especially given the cute bottle. I can see this for a young girl, although she might think it's, sophisticated maybe someone in her 20s late 20s because it has a sweetness to it a playfulness to it but if you give this to a teenager she might feel like it's too old for her my it is my my assumptions yeah honest to god i life is really about perspective this is disturbing me because <laughs> oh that's not what you oh awesome i gotta reach Excusez-moi for les vous français. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, life really is about perspective. And dang, I need to shave my legs. Bless his name. A lot going on, and you know that this is this is very typical, right? <laughs> wow, my hairs are long. I have not shaved my legs in so long. Because I get laser, the hairs are very fine. Therefore, I be forgetting that they even exist. And no, sir, I need to shave what when i sit and i see here in the sun <laughs> it's a problem i need to shave i do have my laser appointment this friday so that's actually a good thing it needs to happen this is not okay for me okay the laser is working it's just a little tougher on the legs life really is about perspective and i'll explain i have to constantly remind myself that these are things that i get to do yesterday nini was oh jesus Yesterday, Nini was sick, so he's by me, and he stayed home. I had him stay home, and I was taking care of him, and I had to thank God. I had to thank God that I don't have to call in or email into a job to say that my child is sick, therefore I will not be in today, and then have the fear of it being tense now as a result of me not coming into work today, or there being a lot of work that I then have to do the next day, or what if he needs to be out for more than one day, then having to go back and say, sorry, he's not well yet, I can't come in tomorrow. I remember when I used to have the, those anxious feelings, and it's, it's, there's just a lot to be said about not having that burden on my back anymore, and just so grateful that if he's not well, I'm going to let him stay home. If I have meetings, I'll do the meetings while he's home or I'll move them or I just won't join the meetings or I just won't go or whatever the case is. If I have a trip, I'm just not going to go if my child is sick. It's just end of the end of story. I remember he was very sick. Oh my God. Before I went to Toronto in March, I had Toronto and then Turks and Caicos back to back. And I, he was sick. It, it wasn't good. And I was like, if he's not better by this day, I'm just not gonna go. And thankfully he got better and I went, but I'm telling you like, I just, I get to be a mom. I get to be his mom. And I'm not one of those people who feels like my child, like, you know, I, I wonder how parents who turn their children into their husbands or their boyfriends, or that's what people say when they look at them. I wonder how that relationship is birthed I say that because I'm very conscious of that and that's not what I'm, that's not my hope, that's not my intention at all. And because I'm so conscious of it, I'm gonna make 
daggone sure that it doesn't happen, okay? With that said, I enjoy and am so blessed by being a mom so much that I often remind myself that I get to do these things. I get to stay home with my child who's not well. I get to take him and take him places. I get to have fun with him. I get to cuddle with him. I get, like, I'm smiling because, like, he just makes me so happy. You know, I get to hear him be like, just being so sweet, you know? I see how even as your children grow up, or I could just have for a boy, even as he, I can't even so that, even as they grow up in public, they don't want to do certain things, or it's not cool, or it's, it's uncomfortable, they don't see their other peers doing it, so they don't want to do it. For instance, hugging, he's not going to hug me in public, you know? But at home, all hugs, all the affection, all the things, and I'm okay with that. I've had to, like I said in the other video, or earlier in this video, that I've had to accept him, that he's got autonomy over his body, and we've taught him that. It's important to have autonomy over your body. If you don't want to do something, you say it, and we, as parents, still respect that. You feel me? He just makes my heart sing. He really does. I, pr I, I, I and I... I know that there are different perspectives and experiences with motherhood, but when, it, dang, this clouds and these lights keep on going in and out, but when it comes to my experience, I, of course, can only speak for myself, and I speak for myself in saying that I am living in an answered prayer, and I tell myself every single day, I'm living in an answered prayer, and I just cannot thank God enough. I cannot thank God enough. I'm living in several answer prayers, several of them. Being a mom, working for myself, having a flexible schedule to be able to be available to my child. I, I remind him. Even yesterday, I even said to him, let's thank Jesus that mommy works be, is able to work from home to be able to take care of you. And I said, so, you know, I'm going to take care of you today while you're home. And then tomorrow, if you're better, you're going to go back to school. And he, I said it differently, and I, he obviously misunderstood me because then he goes, so does that mean that if I'm not better tomorrow, you're not going to take care of me? And I was like, no, baby, I'm gonna, I take care of you every single day. Don't worry. I'm going to take care of you every single day. I'm just saying that. I'm going to be by your side. I, I stayed in the bed with him outside of getting up, making this, fixing this laundry, whatever. But I kept coming back into the bed to sit with him, and I worked from the bed as much as I could yesterday. And I said that to him to help him recognize the glory of God to always be in a posture of gratitude to Christ because of the things that we get to do, because of the things that we get to have. We get to do these things. When I was a worship leader at church many years ago, one of our one of the things that they would always remind us is that we get to do this. We get to serve Christ on the platform, worshiping and, and showing other showing people in the in the building. That's not how I'm called it. How do you call it? I don't know. But showing people the posture of worship, showing them how to raise your hands, showing them even just one, I can't touch the ceiling, but, you know, showing them how to worship because some people just didn't know how. And I'm getting on a different story, but, right, we're teaching them how to worship by raising our hands, by looking up, by clapping if it's a high upbeat song, whatever the case is, we're demonstrating to people that it's okay to make these gestures while worshiping Christ, how did I get on that tangent? I don't remember. I lost my train of thought. Oh, how fantastic. Oh, get to. Yeah, so the way that we, we got to serve Christ in that manner is the way that I look at my life in many ways. I get to have this platform in front of you watching my video. I get to own my own business. I get to make my own schedule. I get to travel the world. I get to have peace of mind in not having to work among toxic people. Was that a shady get to? It was, but it's true. I, mean, I just think back to workplace drama and politics and the, oh man, just, oh God. Like when I think back, my body has a reaction. The nervous system doesn't forget. My body has a reaction to many things, and I just have to give God all the glory that I don't have to deal with that anymore, that I get to do what I love. Get to showcase that I have a lot of tech 
abilities, a lot of abilities in tech. That is she reading Atomic Habits? Praise God. What book is that? Hi. She better come out and come in that carpool line and read. See, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Go ahead and expand your knowledge, honey. Normally, I'll have well, school just started, but last year, my goal was to come here 45 minutes or so early and bring my iPad and then read. Although today, I didn't bring my iPad. <laughs> I brought my I brought my small purse and there's no no space for an iPad. So, uh, hmm. But yeah, I'm just so grateful and I wanted to share that with you because I believe it's important to to rem remain in a posture of gratitude. It is important. It really it just it you see life through a different lens when you remain in a posture of gratitude. This is a Starbucks stopper. And it's eye-opening. It's a reminder when I feel like things could be, wish things were different in some ways, that I am living in an answered prayer. And it's important to always remember that. It really is. I used to keep I used to keep a journal of God's answered prayers and I fell off of that. I really should have kept it. But uh it's not hard. It's not hard for me to find them. It's not hard for me to be to be reminded of those answer prayers. You feel me? And one of those answer prayers I get to see every day. So I'm just so grateful. I just I just give God all the glory. I really do. I ah oh Lord, you are faithful. He hmm. ah you know Maka Maka. I've already discussed it so many times. That's Messia. So. Yeah, I'm waiting on my answered prayer right now. <laughs> One of my answered prayers. I'm waiting on him right now. He will give you everything. Come and take your Can't way. Keep going, going back, back to what I used to know.